Welcome back game crafters to another episode of our Unity Tower Defense Masterclass. Coding, creativity and strategy are all coming together. In our previous episode, we created our minion hordes and mastered the art of way control. Your battlefield is starting to buzz with action. But what's a tower defense game without towers, right? It's time to fortify our defenses in episode 4, we're stepping into the world of tower placement. From strategic spots to intuitive controls, we're going to dive into how to place and position our towers for maximum impact. Ready to construct your defenses? Grab your keyboard and let's start building. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and get right into it. First, we need to create a few tags. Go to any game object, go to tags, add tag. We need two of them. So first one, we need a grid or a platform wherever you want the towers to be positioned and if it's occupied or not. So let's say platform and let's say occupied. Great. Go into your uh, platforms, select all of them and tag them with platform. Great. Now. Let's go into our scripts folder, right click, create new C-sharp script and let's call it UI interface. Let's open it up. We're not going to use the start method so we can go ahead and delete it. And we need two variables, one is public and it's a game object and let's call it Gatling Tower. This is our prefab. Then let's create another one. It's game object, focus object. So we're using this prefab to instantiate the object and then we're going to put it inside this focus object. Cool. So to place a tower, we need three states. First one is when we get when we press click so input that get mouse button down we want to do something here else if now we have the button pressed so we're keeping it pressed input that get mouse button and then i think you guessed it it's else if input that get mouse button up this is when we release the button cool. so we're actually going to use a concept called raycast raycasting in unity refers to the technique of projecting a ray into a scene to determine what object or surface the ray interacts with so we can simply do a raycast head this is where this a hit object is gonna hold the information about the object we hit and then we want to ray because the ray is gonna start from the position from the camera wherever we click so let's say camera dot main dot screen point to ray and we want to pass in the mouse position so import that mouse position cool and now to actually perform the raycast, we just do physics dot raycast. We pass in our ray and the hit. So this method is going to populate this hit object and it will return a Boolean. So if the raycast hits something, then we have a valid hit otherwise we don't so let's say if not fixing that raycast then we should return so if we don't have a valid hit we just return otherwise we want to instantiate our prefab so instantiate gatling tower where do we want this tower to be positioned we want it at hit that position that point sorry and we want the object to keep its transform. So we want to say Gatling tower dot transform dot protection. We're going to have a few problems when we do that because our Gatling 
prefab. It has a collider on it. Yours might have uh, two or not. So let's disable those colliders by focus object dot get component. We want to get the collider and we want to disable it. We will lay, enable it back uh, afterwards. Now, when we are dragging around this prefab, we want to perform another recast because we're moving the mouse. We want to perform constant recast. And we want to position this object, the instantiated object, wherever the mouse moves. So we can update our focus object position to wherever the hit point is. Cool. That's simple. And then we are left with the final state, which is actually another raycast. And here we should check if our hit.collider dot game object dot compare tag we want to compare the tag of that object and we want to see if it's a platform and if it is a platform we want to update the tag to hit that collider that game object that tag equals occupied so we're basically saying that this platform is occupied now and then we want to position the object to a new vector tree. This new vector tree needs to have the X and Z of our hit collider and it should keep its Y position. So we should do hit that collider that game object that transform that position that X and here we want focus object that transform that position that Y. And we can copy this one here, put it here and change this to Z. Great. So if we hit a platform, we want to position the focus object there. Otherwise, so if it's anywhere in the scene, we want to destroy the focus object. And here we should reset the object to null. Focus object to not. Now you might encounter some issues. So, oh, no, we shouldn't play because we forgot to assign the prefab. So go to level manager, drag and drop the UI interface script into the prefabs, bring your tower in. Yep. And hit play. Cool. So you see, we can move around our obstacle, our tower. We can position it on a platform. We'll try to position another one. We can't. We can do that to another one. However, let's say we want to introduce the tower here somewhere. See, the tower actually goes inside the platform. So we can easily fix that. We can go back into our script. And here we need to add another condition and hit that normal dot equals. We want to check if the normal is on top of the, of the platform. So new vector three, zero, one and zero. Let's try that again and see if that fix it. click play and now we're trying the same thing see we cannot position it there anymore but anywhere else it's fine okay guys thank you for tuning in if you found this video useful hit the like button share it around and subscribe for more if you're interested in state machines or animations you can check one of my other videos stay connected keep learning and i'll catch you in the next one happy coding